Hi, I'm systems engineer Jason Green, and this video tutorial is all about using thaw spaces with Deep Freeze. We're all aware of the protection that Deep Freeze uh, provides to our endpoints. Uh, the difficulty arises, of course, when we wish to provide some persistent storage options to our users, uh, or perhaps we want an area of a hard drive to remain unprotected by Deep Freeze so that we can store data there. Um, redirect user data, my documents, favorites, an Outlook OST or PST file. Uh, these are all examples of the types of data that we might want to retain even after we restart a system with Deep Freeze. Now, there are many ways that we can facilitate the storage and retention of this information. Uh, on a system that already has a secondary partition created, we can simply select to not protect that drive. Uh, in this case, on the Drives tab, in the Deep Freeze Configuration Administrator, we would deselect all drives and select just the C drive, uh, which would be the system drive, the operating system files, the registry, uh, that type of information. Uh, we can also uh, redirect some of this data using folder redirection to uh, a network location. Um, but you know, what happens if, for example, either we have a laptop that doesn't have a secondary partition and doesn't have a network uh, or doesn't have consistent network access? and connectivity to store that data in a network location or maybe we just have a workstation that doesn't have a secondary partition and it uh, there is no network storage available. Well in this case Deep Freeze provides a really convenient option called Thaw Spaces and on the same tab, the Drives tab, that we select which drives we want frozen, uh, over to the right is the Thaw Space configuration. Now what Thaw Spaces are are basically virtual partitions that are assigned a drive letter that are hosted on that frozen C drive. So we're given the ability to select a drive letter, uh, specify the size that we want the thaw space to be in gigabytes or megabytes, uh, the drive that we want that thaw space to be hosted on, and whether we want that area to be visible uh, or hidden. Now in a case where we're providing storage uh, options for users, we of course want the thaw space to be visible. And we can create up to eight thaw spaces um, you know, on any given uh, deep freeze uh, workstation install file. Once we've specified the attributes that we want the thaw space to have, we click add and you can see the information related to that thaw space uh, is provided and displayed in the box below. Uh, we create the workstation install file as we do um, for, uh, for any uh, workstation install file configuration. Install deep freeze when that system restarts, it will be protected by deep freeze and users will notice that there is a, a drive letter J created, 10 gigabytes in size, and that partition then becomes unprotected by Deep Freeze and is available for data to be stored uh, or retained.